hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is joshua if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to walk you through how to design a flyer using adobe photoshop so before any further ado let's get started now go to your file select new then i'm going to use 1080 by 1080 pieces that is for social media but this one is not for printing so i'm not going to change the color mode to cmyk so i'll leave it like this then i'll click on great so here we are now i'm going to my test then i'm going to copy this color code ctrl plus c to copy then go to your color solid color then i'm going to paste it ctrl plus v now i'm going to my resources then i'm going to import these images then you scale it out like this all right now after done like this then i'm going to apply multiply then also go to your filter then select blur Gaussian blur and I'm going to blur it 2.3 is okay. I don't want it to be much. Okay. After that, then I'm going to bring this one. Then reduce the size this way. Then I'll position it around here. Then click OK. Alright, now go to your blending mode and I'm going to change it to overlay, then reduce the opacity to something like 82. It's okay. Then after then, I'm going to bring this one here, import it, then reduce the size and I'll take it up here. then change it to soft lights okay now what i'm going to do now i'm going to apply a layer mask then select your gradient tool and i'm going to blend it then go back to this one then apply layer mask and blend it so this is it okay now i'm going to import this background here then you scale it out then i'll position it around here I position it around here then change the blending mode then to this hard light hard light is okay then what you will do now then reduce the opacity let me okay the opacity 48 is okay then you leave it this way all right so now we are going to stop at this stage then the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to copy my test ctrl plus c to copy and this is the font i'm using arrows bt then select your test tool or you press t on your keyboard then click on your design and ctrl plus v to paste Then I'm going to reduce the size like this. Then bring it around here. Then I'm going to group this one as my background. Then let your layer be here. Then I'm going to I'm going to import church logo. 
the let me check if i have a church logo around here okay so here is my church logo then i'll reduce the size then i'll drag it over here then i'm going to draw a rent angle line then i'll leave the color at white then you drag this one over here okay so having done this one now then i'm going to click on it then and apply a drop shadow Then I will leave the opacity at 73. Then what I'm using is multiply. Then the distance is 3. And the spread is 4. Then the size is 6. Then I'll click OK. Now, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then I'll drag it over here. Then I'm going to copy my test again. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now, come over here, then open the character spacing this way, then Ctrl plus A to align, then apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then I'm going to reduce the font size. Then come over here again then to increase the character spacing. Okay. Then highlight it again. Then apply vertical alignment. Ctrl plus D to deselect. So, alright. The next thing I'm going to do now is to go to my test again. And I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C. Then select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus B to paste. Then come over here, then you remove the character spacing. Now, scale it out. Then it's okay like this. Now I'm going to duplicate it. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then you drag this one down. Then select it. Then you go to your test. Then I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now you have to increase the font size. Then select your test tool. And I'm going to type point two here. And I will reduce the size. Then I'll position it around here. Then go back to your test. Then you copy this one. Then select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then go to your rent angle. Then you draw a rent angle. Like this. Then this is the color code for this rent angle. Then you copy it. Double click here to open. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now go back to your test and I'm going to copy this text here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you position it around here. Now I'm going to zoom to see how 
it come then I will reduce this one then select the text and I'm going to apply a color to that text then select your text tool then I'm going to copy a color from somewhere around here something like this so that is it then I'm going to apply a drop shadow so this is it then reduce the opacity to 60 percent then you click ok All right now I'm going to draw another rent angle here like this then apply a corner shape like this then I'm going to apply this color then go back to your test then copy this test here ctrl plus c then select your test to ctrl plus v to paste now I'm going to change the font to white then reduce this font size then position it here reduce the font size then apply vertical and horizontal alignment then hold your shift key to increase this one okay then I'm going to select it then I'll group it then rename it as your test then ctrl plus a to select all then apply vertical alignment ctrl plus d to deselect now i'm going back to this test here and i'm going to apply a drop shadow then make the opacity at 78 then leave the spread and the distance like this then i'm going to apply bevel and emboss so you can see what i'm using here is inner bevel then and the techniques is smooth the depth is 84 and the size is 9 then this is the contour i'm using you can see it so this is the contour i'm using this this is the contour All right then you click ok now so what i'm going to do now then i'm going to copy this one right click to copy the layer style then click on this one then and paste the layer style so this is it okay then i'm going to group this one then group this one then i'm going to rename it okay so having done this one now so the next thing then i'm going to import this light here then i'll position it around here then change it to screen so you can change it to any one you want but in this one i'm going to use overlay so i'm going to use overlay instead of screen i'm going to use overlay then after this one then i'm going to import this lights again 
Now I'm going to blur it, then go to Infect, go to Blur, Gaussian Blur, then I'm going to blur it by 9.6 is okay. Then I will reduce the size, then apply screen, then I will position it here, then apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool, then I am going to blend it, so I am blending this way, okay. Now, the next thing again, go back to your test and I'm going to copy this test here. Select your test tool, then import your date icon, then reduce the size, rasterize it, then select your magic tool. You click this one, hold your Shift key, then you click here, you click here. Now, delete. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Reduce the size. And position it around here. Okay. Then select your test to Then I'm going to apply superscript. Now increase the size. Then come over your here again to copy your test. Select your test to Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce the size. Then increase the size like this. Okay, then I'm going to draw a red triangle line here. Then control. Ctrl J to duplicate this one. Then I'll move this one over here. Take it up. Then select your test tool. Highlight this seven. Then you make it nine. Then adjust this one. And reduce it to align it together. Then select it and group it. So here is the date. Then go back to your resources and I'm going to import this time icon. Reduce the size. Position it around here, Ctrl plus U, then apply white color, then and I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J, drag it up around here, then hold your shift key while you move it here, 8. 8 a.m. Then select the a.m. and you reduce the font size. Then duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Take it above. Then you drag it and place it here. 
select your test tool then and change it then you reduce the size okay now having done this one then i'm going to group this one here is the light and here is the date i mean the time okay then let me do this one import icon for location then ctrl plus u for hue and saturation then you drag it over here to apply white color then i'll position it around here then come over here to copy my location then select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste now reduce the font size then you take it over here then now you can increase it a little bit then you select the icon and the test you group it so here is our location select it all then apply vertical alignment ctrl plus d to deselect now after this one so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to draw go to your background then i'm going to draw this line here and i'm going to copy this red angle color then ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to import this image then i'll bring it down like this then right click and create a clipping mask then go to your blending mode and select multiply so this is what you have over there okay Now, here I'm going to draw, come back here. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle here. Then I'm still using this color red. Then position it here. Then select your test tool. Then you type your test then you reduce the font size and position it here hold your shift key then you reduce the size then select the two tests apply vertical and horizontal alignment then use your arrow key to position it well then so this is what you have okay this church name is too much then i will reduce it this way all right thank you so much for watching so that is all about the tutorial i really appreciate your following remember to share like and subscribe thank you so much